Hi, kitty cats. I had my second follow-up appointment after gender-affirming surgery here in Thailand. Now, we are scheduled to leave for the U.S. in a few days, and so this was a very important checkup to determine if we need to stay longer for more care. I get into the room and the stirrups, and the mood is decidedly lighter than last time. So everybody seems upbeat, including me. Uh, the surgeon comes in, pokes around a bit, and says everything in the vaginoplasty is looking great. He did note I had many sutures poking out, which is typical for soluble sutures, and he takes out like a pair of scissors and snips anything he could down to the skin. I have never tried to sit so still in my life. There was one moment of pain, for whatever reason, and having those external bits of suture gone makes the whole area so much more comfortable, especially during walking. Now, the last piece of advice the surgeon gave me on the vaginoplasty is just to continue using antibacterial ointment twice a day for another week or so, and then I'm finished with aftercare. He did look at my breast augmentation. I still have uh, scabs at the incisions, and those are going to fall off in time, but the breast augmentation is also looking good. No more aftercare there. I got an appointment card for three months out. The surgeon asked me to contact him if I experienced any trouble, but he didn't expect we would have to talk again. All through this process, the surgeon's taken many photographs of both surgical sites. So as a lovely parting gift, I got a flash drive with all of those photographs. I'm not sure I have the courage to open up that flash drive and see what the surgeon saw. He is very proud of his work though, and I understand why, because I think everything is just amazing. My healing has gone very smoothly, no tissue necrosis, no infection, just effortless healing and a very positive prognosis. So at the end of the appointment, we had a moment where I kind of wanted to give the surgeon a hug because this is it. I mean, I'm leaving the country Monday. I'm most likely never seeing him again. As I walked out of the hospital toward the train station, I had another moment where I stopped and thought, oh, this is really, really all over. And it is. I'm heading home. This whole adventure is finally coming to an end. I don't know how I feel about that as a whole just yet. With my surgery, however, I emphatically recommend Dr. War upon at Yonhee International Hospital here in Bangkok, Thailand. So, Dr. War upon. Kop kun jing jing ka. Talk soon. Bye.